Welcome to my quick, easy, sultry daily blow dry tutorial. Let's, let's go. So the first step is you're going to take a shower. Now, I'm not some sort of monster who doesn't use pre-wash scalp oil, okay? So I did use pre-wash scalp oil to prep my hair for today. Then I washed my hair today with actually Embody shampoo and conditioner. I wanted big, I wanted bold. Now let's talk about products. The first thing we're gonna apply is Complete Conditioning Mist, but catch. But now we have travel size, bitch. Look how you, you can just, you can just put it in your bra. Just gonna put a little bit of this in. Uh, it's gonna be really good for heat protection. It's gonna detangle. We love it. it. Smells nice, clean, light, super, super good. Also, too, if your hair started to dry a little bit because, like, I took a shower like maybe an hour ago. So sometimes, if your hair is wavy, you don't really want to like blow dry on totally dry hair. So you can use the complete conditioning mist to kind of like re-wet your hair a little bit before a blow dry. Then the second thing I'm gonna put on is some instant recovery serum. Now, a lot of times we hear, what's the difference between instant recovery serum and blowout milk? When would I use them together? Do they work together? The short answer is yes, they work fabulous together. I really like to base my hair with instant recovery serum first, especially when I'm between haircuts and my hair is a little bit longer than usual. When you have hair that's on the longer side, it's gonna be more porous on the ends. So it's gonna suck up whatever styling product you use more on the ends because it's drier and more porous. So if you base the hair with instant recovery serum first, it's going to take on what other, whatever other styling products you use more evenly. Then I'm going to retake my little paddle brush and I'm going to distribute that throughout my hair. My hair is already detangled, but do you notice how I'm using this paddle brush like this versus like this? This is going to detangle the hair easier than if you go like this. Why, Jonathan? Well, if you look, see how these are all lined up vertically? So it's going to keep your hair really like straight. Whereas if it's like this, they're almost like brick laid. So it's gonna like tangle more when you use it like this. But if you use it vertically, it's gonna be easier to detangle and keep the hair detangled. Hot take, right? Now we're gonna do blowout milk, which we love so much. Um, I'm going to do two pumps. One, two. Blowout milk came to play, it came to slay. This formula is so next level. Hemisqualane, as always, it's our sugarcane derived hemisqualane. But also there's cassia bark polymer. And you're like, why is bark good for our hair? Well, we take this polymer from cassia bark and it makes your hair really flexible and it makes your hair hold whatever shape you impart on it with your blow dry. So it makes your heat styles last longer. Then there's also ionic peptides, which get activated by heat, which also make your heat styles last longer. Also, the ASMR of it all, the glass, the sustainability. So I like to take the paddle brush to work the products into my hair a little bit first. I also like a heat resistant wide tooth comb to start to like pull your wave out. You want everything you do to lead to the next action. So because I'm gonna wear my hair down, you don't see me blowing it like this. No, that's gonna it up and it's gonna make it harder to style later. Now, if you want more volume, you can use your head like an ironing board and start to like push your hair the opposite way that it's gonna live to help your blow dry have more movement, which is really nice. So you will see me do like this, but you're still like making it like, you're going with the grain of the hair, not against the grain. So I'm not going against my grain, I'm always going with the grain of the hair. The underneath of my hair tends to be a little curlier, like a little bit tighter curls and like my hairline, whereas the interior of my hair is a little bit more wavy. So for me, I like to like blow out my hair like 75% dry-ish, kind of around where it is now before I start to round brush. If your hair is more like 3B, 3C, a especially 4A, 4B, 4C, like our textured hair friends, you want the hair to be a little bit more wet. So the more textured your hair, the more water you wanna leave in it before you round brush. The less textured your hair, the more you wanna rough dry it. So this is ready for me to round brush. 
Here's another good rule of thumb for basic blow dries. The size of your round brush is going to dictate how wavy the end is. So if you use a tighter round brush, it's going to give you more kick on your end. If you use a bigger round brush, it's going to be straighter. So just for like ease and cuteness, let's do, I'm just going to do like a little kick on my blow dry today. So I'm going to use a bigger round brush. I love these Olivia Garden round brushes because it has this little attachment that you can use to section your hair easier. So I like to blow dry my hair each section in sections itself. So first I like to focus on the, on the roots. So I'm focusing on like the top third of my hair. And you can see there's like a little steam coming from my hair and that's good. That's just the product doing its job, protecting your hair from heat. The only time you really don't want to see smoke is if you didn't put in heat protection. Cause then that means that's your hair burning, not the product. Okay. Then I like to focus on the ends. Now you can go like this on the ends if you want there to be a little kick like that. So again, I'm going to focus on my roots first, then the mid length, then you can do the end. I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm using my kind of temple is the place where I section from. So now I'm going to work on this hair and this hair, I'm going to clip back up and keep it out of my way. So I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to start with the back here because I just dried that underneath. I don't want this like wet ass hair sitting on that for a long time while I blow dry the front. So that's kind of why I like this little spike thing. Cause you can like section way easier. I'm going to wrap the round or the hair on top of my round brush so that I have these roots and we're going to smooth it out. And again, I'm going to drop it and I'm going to re grab that section for me to do the middle. So I kind of just did the top. Now I'm going to move on to the middle. You just twist, 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 twist. You can also cold shot it to set the section and cold shots do work, but they only work if your hair is all the way dry. So if you're cool shotting your hair, but there's still wetness in there, it's kind of like defeating the purpose. So you want to make sure that that section is like fully dry. Root, mid length. Now I'm going to work on my ends. Now you could roll that all up and heat up the whole thing. You do want to spend some time on those ends because your ends is like what makes your hair look healthy or not. So it really is like the same process, just on different parts of your head. Right now I'm getting my roots dry. Then you can drop it, re-grab the section on your round brush. Now we're going to focus on the mid lengths. Mid lengths. And then you can just twist out the end for a little kick. Here's a really good trick that I love doing. As you work your way up your blow dry, take your hair and part it down the middle so that you have it all in two sections and then start to twist your hair just to make sure that you have all the moisture out. It's going to emphasize the kick on the bottom and it just kind of like brings everything together. So now I'm taking that last section down and all we have to do is the top. Okay. So obviously you can do side part. You can do whatever you want to do. I kind of am like a center part sister myself. I'm going to start on this hair kind of in the back. So I'm taking my trusty little pointer. And I'm going to take a section. Now to pull this root smooth, I'm taking the section, wrapping it around the top. I'm smoothing out those roots because now that we're on top of the head, we want volume up here. You can take the section and wrap it again, but now you're wrapping it so that you can come underneath and I'm going to blow dry this way. Cause I, up here, I do want a little bit more lift. So I'm going underneath to get volume. Another way you can get some volume is coming in and we're going to blow dry this way. And you want to bring the round brush forward, which is called over directing so that you can get maximum movement. So I'm taking the round brush and I'm going to pull it forward. And then you can even come underneath again. Sometimes people have really thick hair and they want it really sleek and flat everywhere because they just have a shitload of hair. So if that's the case for you, 
you're going to want to like really never do what I'm doing right now, which is blow drying underneath the roots of the section. But watch, you're going to see it's going to have like really good. See that good lift there now? So bouncy, so pretty. Yes, blowout milk. Here I'm going to take this hairline section out because this is like fragile, this hairline stuff, and it doesn't need to be blown dry twice. So I kind of am going to take that down and I'm just going to focus on this hair right now. I don't really need that much volume here. I kind of like it smoother and flatter on this part of my head. Honestly, too, if you really want to learn how to round brush your own hair, if you want to learn how to do this style, try doing it on a friend because it's that's how I got really good at it was like from doing it on clients. Honestly, you will save so much time and so much money if you learn how to do this to your own hair versus going to the salon. So again, you guys, roots, mid lengths, and I'm going to twist the bottom. The size of your section should be dictated by the size of your brush. So this is like how big my section should be. If it's way bigger than the diameter of your brush, then you're going to have a really hard time controlling it. So now I'm going to do this last section, which is my face frame. I'm going to gather it like this. Now there's a few ways you can style this part. Some people like to do it like this, where they pull the hair back and then roll it down and then go like this. Other people like to do it like this, where you go like this. Both are great. They're both very valid techniques. Honestly, it depends on like your hair type, what look you're going for, what products you used. I kind of think on my hair, I tend to get a little bit more volume if I go back, like how I just did it. But some people say they get more volume if they do it, you know, underneath. Now I'm gonna kind of like marry this section with the side. Then I'm gonna gather all this hair and I'm gonna start to twist it. And I'm twisting away from my face. Now I'm gonna kind of let this cool. And then I'm gonna go over to this side. What do you think, YouTube? Do you just love it? Slow motion. If you want to just hit it with a little bit of nourishing shine drops to just seal it in, give it a little bit of shine. That just won an award, I think. It did. An Allure Best of Beauty Award winner, what? Not to name drop, but it's true. Thanks for coming, YouTube. I hope you try this look out. And if you do try this little look out, tag us. Let me know. I want to see it on the gram. I want to see it on YouTube. I want to see it everywhere. I hope that helps. And honestly, I went to hair school when I was 18. I don't think I learned how to really round brush my hair well until I was like 23. Like it took me five years. So it's not like I was like born with this knowledge. Practice really, really helps. Uh, so yeah, get into practicing, get into trying. Blow up milk will make your life so much easier. Thanks for coming YouTube. You're all gorgeous. You're all stunning. Mm. And I love you. I'm putting my earrings back on now. Love you and thank you for coming to our YouTube channel. Yes. Mm -hmm.